welcome back to another reaction of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Absolutely, season one, episode six. Let's jump right into another episode of Buffy. If you want to see this in full reaction, I know you do. The link is down below. Please click the Patreon link, YouTube channel membership link, or both, and join the extended family today. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Buffy the Vampire Slayer and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Elephant, hang it up. Oh, look, it's Buffy and all her friends. That's witty. Were you this popular at your old school before you got kicked out? <laughs> I don't like them. You just saw the zebras mating. Thank you. Very exciting. Uh -huh. He's like a Heimlich with stripes. I'm feeling that you're not in the field trip spirit here. We do the same zoo trip at my old school every year. Same old, same old. <laughs> hey, Kyle. So is this like a uh, family reunion? Mom, still pick out your lice, or are you old enough to do that yourself now? Quit it. <laughs> These guys are bullies. Hey. I've had it up to here with you four. What are you doing? They weren't doing anything. Really? I'll be watching you. Came through big time. Way to go, Lance. Check out the hyena house. But I think it's off limits. And therein, my friend, lies the phone. Gosh. What are Kyle and his buds doing with Lance? Oh, playing with him is a cat plays with a mouse. Better track Lance oh, before. I'll handle it. This job doesn't require actual slaying. You don't think we should follow? Kyle and those guys are jerks, but they're all talk. Why don't we? Yeah, why don't we? Because <laughs> hyenas are very quick to prey on the weak. Oh, well, we were just You're gonna You're not going in there. Why is it off limits? It's a quarantine. These hyenas just came in from Africa, so keep out. A side tribesman told me that hyenas are capable of understanding human speech. Night, when the campfire dies, they call out to a person. The pack devours them. I don't see any hyenas. Stop, guys. <laughs> Stop. It's not funny. It's not funny. Why don't you put that in your own species? What, are oh. you gonna get in my face? What? Xander would be here by now. Mm. That'd make him on time. He was quiet. I didn't notice anything. Not constantly monitoring his health, his moods, his blood pressure. 130 over 80. Dangerous and mysterious older man whose leather jacket you're wearing right now. Never around. And when he gets, all he wants to do is talk about vampires. Oh. I'm great. Xander, you still want me to help you with geometry tomorrow? Man, I need some food. Birds live on this. Something wrong? Did I do something? What could you possibly do? That's crazy talk. Okay, now what? You took a bath. And the weird behavior award goes to. Oh, great! It's the winged monkeys. Ah. Uh. What is going on? Covering over the football stadium with Goodyear written on you? <laughs> Gets bad. Yep. Yep. Okay. Bam! Well, that last roundhouse was kind of sloppy. Are you sure you want to do it again? No. No, no. I'll like wait for the feeling to return to my arms. <laughs> what is that? I'd like you all to meet Herbert. A new mascot for the Sunnydale High Razorback. He doesn't look mean, Mr. Flutie. He's mean. He's ready for action. All right, let's uh. get you back into your cage. <laughs> this way. Bisector of a vertex is the line that divides the angle. The same stuff from last week. You had it down then. Why do I need to learn this? Forget it, okay? I don't get it. I won't ever. I don't care. Oh, my God. Today, it's all gangs and drugs and those movies on Showtime with the nudity. I don't have cable, I only heard. When I was your age, I was surrounded by old guys telling me how much better things were when they were my age. Dodgeball. Oh, Lord. Those of you that may have forgotten. I hated dodgeball. I always lost. Oh, my God. The dark side. Ooh. Good, this 
This game is brutal. Xander, what's wrong with you? I guess you've noticed that I've been different around you lately. Yes. Well, we've been friends for such a long time that I feel like I need to tell you something. I've decided to drop geometry. So I won't be needing your math help anymore. I won't have to look at your pasty face again. <laughs> and I laugh like hyenas. You gonna say something to me? <laughs> Dogs. Where? Hey. Hey, what are you guys? Shut up. You're sharing. It's too well done. Hey! That is not cool. What is going on? These people are bees! Not the pig. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Why are we all staring at them? Something's wrong with him. Yep. Or maybe there's something wrong with me. It's not me, Come it's on. you! He's not picking on you. He's just sniffing you a lot. It still doesn't explain why he's hanging out with the Dode Patrol. Something's going on. I talked to the expert on weird. Xander's so taken to teasing uh -huh. the most fortunate. He's turned into a 16-year-old boy. Of course, uh -huh. to kill him. Giles, I'm serious. Uh -huh. I cannot believe that you, of all people, are trying to scully me. There is something supernatural at work here. The evidence that you presented me with is sketchy at best. He scared the pig. They tease. They, they, they prey on the weak. It, it, it's natural teen behavior pattern. They prey on the weak. Him and Kyle and all those guys, they went into the hyena cage. Yeah? Oh, God, that laugh. Possessed by one? Not just Xander, all of them. Herbert, they found him. Dead. And also eaten. What are you gonna do? Get my books. Three kids saw you outside Herbert's room. You're busted. That's it. My office right now. <laughs> now! You're gonna have so much detention, your grandchildren will be staying after school. Noah rejected the hyenas from the Ark because he thought they were an evil, impure mixture of dogs and cats. Couldn't Sander be possessed by a puppy or, or some ducks? The Matai of the Serengeti have spoken of animal possession for, for generations. A, a sect of animal worshippers known as primals. They're able, through transpossession, to, to um, draw the spirit of certain animals into themselves. Only the most predatory of animals are, are of interest to primals. If it goes unchecked... I gotta find Xander. Uh, what? Ho hold on. What? Oh my god! Oh, rest in peace, pig. Xander, this is ridiculous. We need to talk. Oh. I've been waiting for you to jump my bones. <laughs> I have seen some sick things. What is it with you people? Is it drugs? What are you doing? <laughs> you want danger, don't you? You like your men dangerous. You're in trouble, Xander. You're mystery guy. Well, guess who just got me? Uh -huh. I am uh -huh. parents, and they're gonna take you uh -huh. all home. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I've waited until you stop pretending that we aren't attractive. Stop kidding yourself that I could settle with anyone but you. Oh my lord! You wanna hurt me? The more I scare you, the better you smell. Get down from there this instant! Oh. 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 oh damn! Hyenas are my least favorite animal. Oh my god, Xander, what happened? I hit him. <laughs> a desk. It's safe to say that in his animal state, his idea of wooing doesn't involve a Yanni CD and a bottle of Chianti. What are we gonna do? I mean, how do we get Xander back? Just the pack was spotted outside Herbert the mascot's cage. They didn't hurt him, did they? They, uh, ate, ate him. They ate Principal Flutie? Ate him up? Official theory is that wild dogs got into his office somehow. Well, that's a small mercy. Giles, how do we stop this? How do you transpossess someone? There is some talk of a, a predatory act, but the exact ritual is, is um, the Kerem deals in the particulars of demonic possession and should be able to transfer the spirits to another human.
Well, that's great. Any volunteers? Did that zookeeper could help us. Maybe he didn't quarantine those hyenas because they were sick. Well, are you sure if he wakes up? I'll be all right. Go. Oh, goodness. Oh! How are you feeling? Like somebody hit me with a desk. He's acting. You guys got me locked up now. Buffy and her all put a solution of punch him out and knock him down. Buffy saved both of our lives. Before she came here, our lives didn't need that much saving, did they? He's playing with you, girl. Willow, I know there's something wrong with me. I think it's getting worse. I want you to help me. I want you. I am helping. If I'm so dangerous, how come she left you alone with me? I told her to. I wanted to be here to see if you were still you. Now I know. The zoo imported those hyenas from Africa. There was something strange about them from day one. Historically, they were worshipped by these guys. Primals. I know that it involves a, a, a predatory act and some kind of symbol. Herman and Jeffrey's work on, on cults and their Boys. Uh -huh. so we could pull off a reverse transpossession. Please. What do we do? After hyenas feed and rest, they will track the missing member of their pack until they find him. Oh, oh shit. shit. Willow. I'm not listening. <laughs> You're in trouble, girl. Willow. Xander, shut up. Willow. That won't work. Girl, get underneath the desk! Sorry, well, I didn't know they were gonna come after Xander. Individually, they're almost as strong as you. As a group, they're... They're tough, but I think they're getting stupider. Ah. Uh. I heard what I heard. Joey, chew. You have to chew. Let's see why we have to have this conversation every time we see them. Where are the keys? Huh? You guys didn't come in with the keys? Don't play with your food. The zookeeper is probably the leader. Buffy and the others approaching. Zookeeper, oh. are you uh, otherwise prepared for the transpossession? Almost. Be here when when the children first came. Why would you? Terribly frustrating for you. That a bunch of school children could accomplish what you could not. <laughs> Where are the hyenas for the transpossession? They're right here in the feeding area. They're almost here. Shouldn't you bring the hyenas out? When the time is right. You'll pretend to slash my throat and and, and put the evil in the hyena? Fuck it's a trap! You my asana! I miss anything? A lot. <laughs> okay, but I had nothing to do with that, right? All right. You only ate the pig. Yeah. I mean, the whole trichinosis issue aside, yuck. Well, it wasn't really you. you saved my life. Hey, nobody messes with my willow. Uh. I didn't do anything else. Did I around you guys anything embarrassing? Nah. Not at all. I can't find anything anywhere about memory loss afterwards. Uh -huh. Shoot me, stuff me, mount me. I actually like that. I would give that a 10. That was the closest to one of my favorite type of monsters, which is werewolves. That was very close to it. Um, 
So I know that a lot of people were saying the last episode wasn't like was like a lot of people's least favorite, but the episode before that, I feel like people were saying that was also their least favorite. So I feel like there's like obviously as we have the conversations down below, that a lot of people said you know that each episode there might be some favorites. I know there might be fan favorites. I wonder if this would be this particular fan favorite of season one at least, because for me this was my favorite episode and. I it's strange because I love vampires, right? Obby! Like everything on my channel is like vampires. But um, I'm digging this episode. I loved it. I thought it was kind of creepy too with the, the laughing because they kind of, their acting sometimes kind of gave me monkeys, especially with the laughing and the jumping. And then I actually remember that hyenas actually do all of that too. They do that. <laughs> they jump and everything like that. Was that weird? <laughs> I know, thank you. <laughs> I'm such a great actor. Um, but yes, they do all of that simi similar to um, monkeys. By the way, they were showing there in that, that TV. Now I know that I'm sure that I'm gonna be wrong when I say the statement, but I'm pretty sure that they showed wild dogs and a, a few times. There was hyenas in there, but there was also wild dogs they were showing and wild dogs um, do they make those sounds? But while there is a cute, there's a difference between wild dogs and hyenas. And I'm not Googling it, I don't have time. Um, but there is a difference, they're not the same. Um, and somebody is typing ferociously down below. I watch Animal Planet and you are wrong. No, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So, regardless. Um, I really liked all the other people as well, the pack. Um, who played these villainous type creatures. And f since when we first met them in this episode, I was like, oh, I like them. I like them. Now, and I hate bullies. I just want to make that very clear. Absolutely clear. I hate bullies. But they were really, like, I like them. <laughs> I was like, yes. And that one girl with the short bob haircut with the black, and actually the both females, in there reminded me of the old school movie, The Craft. I watched it recently and I love that movie. I wish I could like watch it on my channel, but it would be like a rewatch and I would like know what was going on. So there's that. But they, both of those females reminded me of The Craft. And I was like, yes, give me, give me, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. Um, I would give this episode a 10, as I stated, I loved it. I like Sanders being a villain as well, or like a, de a demonic soul person. That man um, who thought it was, I would have been like the man who, with the blue face paint at the ending, the animal keeper person, I would have been like, no, I want to be part of it and I want to be the leader. Like, I'm not gonna take all of their power, right? I would wanna lead somehow, and then there would be a lot more of us, but he wanted to be all about himself, and look where it ended. He fell into the hyena pit, and he died. You know, I actually have a really good question, and this is, like, really weird, um, but hyenas, they're probably similar as coyotes, right? What do you do if you run into a hyena? Just just in case, you know, you're out there in the wild. Um, stop, don't run away. As hyenas are predators, they chase animals that run. Don't lie down. This will make the hyena more curious. Don't show fear. This, uh, uh try to stay calm by talking. Oh, you have to talk to the hyena. Be quiet, shh. If you see hyenas in a distance, stay away and be quiet as they probably won't notice you. Look strong. Hyenas hunt in packs and target the weakest or sickest members of a herd. So try to look strong and healthier than the others in your group. What happens if you're by yourself? Stick together. Oh. <laughs> if you're in a group, never try to fight hyenas alone. Climb a tree. If you're in danger, you, ch you could try climbing a tree and waiting for help as hyenas can climb trees. Well, just in case, um, you guys are out in the wild. Um, you guys go into your backyards, you run into a hyena. Those are some points for you guys uh, uh, to escape. If you're attacked by a hyena, you might have about 90 to 120 seconds 
to discourage it. You could try choking it, banging its head, punching, oh my god. Hyenas are apex predators with bone crushing jaws and a bite force of 110 PSI, which is, um, when they say PSI, I know they talk about like sharks. Like I think, I think the strongest bite, don't quote me, but one of the strongest bites, I know like alligators and crocodiles, like very similar. They usually attack the face, necks, and uh, the spine regions of their victims, which can damage soft tissue and internal organs. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But anyways, so there's that guys. So please, please, you now know what to do if you run into hyenas. I would give this episode a 10. Once again, I loved it, loved it, loved it. I wouldn't know what to do like now if I was part of that pack, right? And I ate a human, like my own principal, like now that like, we know that their memory re remains, like how are you actually going to like live your, da your daily life knowing you ate your principal? weird i'm gonna go because like there's a bunch of yelling outside my house i live in new york city y'all it's dangerous out here anyways thank you so much for being here i will see you all next time with more reaction